Hey guys, and happy fall. I am so excited to be sharing my first real fall decorate with me here in the new house. And I just want you guys to know how thankful I am to have you joining me today. We are going to just be adding things around the house. I'm going to give you a couple quick updates and that is about it for today. So definitely stick around to see how it all turns out at the end. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things home cooking, cleaning, and decorating. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you're returning, it is so great to see you guys. I cannot wait to welcome you into our new decorated fall home. Hey, I wish you could see yourself just sitting there on my chair. I put out basically everything I'm going to be using around the house for fall decorating. And what I'm thinking we're going to do now is decorate this. I want to decorate the bar cart, move that to the garage. I also have pillows here I want to put out and then I have a rug for the backyard. I also have a new chair for my bedroom. We'll put that up. I'm going to head in here. I've got all of our blankets and stuff here on the floor. I'm going to redo this whole area and just make it a little more fall. Same with this area here. And then we're going to clean that table off. I'm going to put a nice tablescape there and get that stuff moved upstairs because I um, got a table for an office upstairs. So this all gets to go away. And all right. Okay, guys, let's keep decorating. Staring at you, you don't even notice. Should have told you straight away. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I know you haven't noticed. You know, you know. To get started in the entryway, I just want to add a rug here. This has been a very fast traffic area for the kids and it has been raining on and off where we live in Northern California and I have noticed it gets very slippery on this tile. So the clock is ticking on the January, February months to come because I am going to be putting hardwood floor into this house. So for now, I'm just going to use this rug to kind of slow the kids down so nobody slips and falls when it's raining. And then I am going to start to add some decor over to this area. I am going to be putting a very large uh, mirror behind this table and I'm also thinking about painting it black but now that I'm starting to get furniture in I'm not sure I kind of do like having that natural wood texture in here let me know what you guys think down below should I paint it black or keep it there the natural brown color so I found these pods the one on the left is from hearth and hand at target and the one on the right is from home goods and I'm just going to be adding in these really beautiful picks that I found at home goods I absolutely love how authentic these look and really just warm this space up I'm starting to be um, coming more into things that are a little more natural natural looking and not so fake. You'll see in the other room, I start to use some of my orange picks and you know, really gorgeous maple leaves, but I'm starting to really like a more subdued vibe for fall. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys think about how this turned out. in this corner I just want to have an area for the kids to put their shoes and just simple things still trying to get this house organized but I wanted to just at least add a little fall decor here so I ended up putting that fall favorites board that I got from Michaels over here just think it's so cute and just brings in all the fall feels and then I'm going to be using some darker purple florals that I picked up from I believe I got these at home goods 
They um, look a little too long to have come from Target, but they are really pretty. And I just think, again, it goes with a more kind of neutral, realistic stem versus kind of the darker oranges and bright yellows that I have from my old Hobby Lobby picks. I also love adding some witch's broom, the cinnamon brooms that you get from, you can get them pretty much anywhere, but I always pick mine up at Trader Joe's. And then I love these cinnamon spiced pine cones. I just think they're really fun and add a nice element from outside into the house. I know you haven't noticed. You know, you know that I won't let you go. Put your arms around me and I'll let you know how it feels. When... I've shared many times on my channel how I stay organized. I love using these little plastic folders and these nylon bags to keep all of my projects and kids' school works and bills and everything in them. I will link them down the below. I have to say they're the most requested thing I ever get either here or on my Instagram channel at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson because they really are amazing and you get like 30 of them in a pack for 10 bucks and you can literally put anything in them. They're great for traveling or just being organized. And now that I have a little office set up in the house, I can move all of this stuff off of the dining room table and start to organize that. I will definitely take you guys along with me for that because it's not the greatest place to have an office, but at least it's central to the house. I can see all the kids and I can see the front door and it just helps me have one spot to put all of my stuff so I can work and not have it kind of cascading into the living areas. So now that that's done, I am going to get the table cleaned and we're just going to do a nice simple setup for dinner. As we start to build all the little furniture pieces and areas in the house, I will try to link down below everything I show because most of it is from like places like Wayfair and Article, which I worked with Article when we designed uh, the tasting room. So I really love using their stuff. So you'll see a lot of that as well, but I will do my best to link down below or at least do a voiceover and tell you where this stuff is from. Um, most of the things that you see decor wise for fall are um, from past years, a lot from Target and stuff. Um, and then those placemats were from the hearth and hand section at Target, but I just like them. I thought they brought in a little more of a subdued vibe for fall, especially as we're transitioning into the Halloween months. Um, I kind of want to bring in some more of those dark blacks and some oranges. So now that I have that set, I want to just get the couch here all tidied up and just some nice cozy fall blankets. Tell me in the comments down below what y'all have been up to and are you getting excited for Halloween? I cannot wait only a couple more days and I get to get all my Halloween stuff out and we get to start decorating. I cannot wait to go over the top in this house for the seasons, starting with Halloween, probably going back to a little fall, but just tell me in the comments down below, how excited are you and where are you living and what is the weather like? We've had crazy weather here from 114 degree days to pouring down rain for days. It's been the most bizarre thing and we live in wine country, so bizarre weather is not always the best thing for us, but we've been handling it pretty well and luckily most of the farmers here where we live have at least 80, 60 to 80% of their fruit in. So hopefully it's another great vintage, but for now it's just been very bizarre weather. But tell us down below if you guys are getting excited for the holidays and what the weather's like where you are. I never thought in the wildest dream I'd see you again. Never dreamed about nothing else other than Thought I'd be waiting, waiting in vain, but suddenly there you were. Never thought it'd be easy to feel you in my arms, but now we're here and I'm all in, and I want it by you. Cause I can stay till the morning, stay till the dawn, but just hold. 
I found a couple really sweet little blankets and pillows at Target this year that were all on sale. If you guys hit up that sale, good for you because they had some amazing hearth and hand stuff that was like majorly marked down. And over here, I've had these sticks for years. I got them at Trader Joe's, dried them, and have literally had them for years. I love them. I just think you can use them for Halloween. You guys know I've used them in a lot of Halloween. I put like little bats on them and you can also use them for a fall. But I'm just gonna tuck a blanket over here and then my favorite Balsam Hill uh, pumpkins. I've used these in a couple of videos. I've had these for I think two or three years. I love them. I will link them down below. They light up and they just give such a beautiful traditional touch to any fall decor. So much better whenever you're around, whenever you're around. For this little side table, I went ahead and painted this really beautiful urn that I found, but I just didn't love the color. And I also painted this bowl as well. I think these bring in some really nice transitional pieces that I can dress up through the holidays of Halloween, Thanksgiving, and of course fall. I'll probably not use them for Christmas though, just cause I don't know if I'm gonna use a lot of black for that season. Um, I definitely am not gonna go into like doing, you know, monochromatic Christmas. You guys know I really love traditional Christmas and uh, I have no intentions of doing that. And then when I sit here and I look at these beautiful leaves, I'm like, okay, no, never mind. I love the orange leaves. <laughs> I don't know who I'm kidding. But anyway, I'm gonna just add a couple cute things here and a nice, um, I love, again, these cinnamon spiced pine cones are delightful. I also have a couple new magazines I'm gonna take a look at just to help me get a little inspiration before I start, start decorating our new house. And then I wanted to add a candle. Over here, I just had, this beautiful apple garland you guys have seen many times from balsam hill i just wanted to put that up here but eventually we're going to be decorating and styling this whole area so i cannot wait to share that with you I don't know what it was about hanging this wreath, but when I finally put this nail into the wall and hung this wreath, it made this house start to feel a little bit more like home. I really love having a nice, simple decor base here in the kitchen, and then I will add little things throughout the season, like some food or maybe some you know, pumpkin pie or something cute like that. But for now, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple in here with just a little bit of decor. And then there is a giant island in the middle of our kitchen and half of it I don't really use. So I thought I would split it up by putting a nice runner down and then adding some apples and my favorite fall cookbook and some other cute things just to kind of break the space up and to create a little more of that fall home feel. But I promise dear I never let you go. So don't let go. I 
thought it would look cute to just add some of my favorite fall things. I love this Harvest Cookbook. I'll link it down below. I think I pretty much cooked everything from it. And then over here in the corner, I just thought I would add a small touch to this area. So I have some leftover picks. That I think we're all kind of going along that very natural feel with the deep purples and the bright yellows. And I'm just gonna tuck that here underneath the cabinets. I'm still really trying to understand how all these spaces work, but I at least wanna have some Thing. and I love the way the blue and gold pop off of that yellow and red. I also have this Hobby Lobby sign I've had for years and I thought I'd just add it to the area. Okay guys, so we are officially done decorating in here. Um, I ended up just adding a little, any of the leaves that fell off, I kind of just added them around the house. But I love this fun reminder for the kids when they're leaving the house um, and then when we pick pine cones and fall leaves, we can add them here. I'm not sure how this is gonna evolve, but I need to put something there. And then over here, I went ahead and added two little baskets here and just added some really beautiful picks and these books, these are from the old house. This is um, actually all from the old house. Beautiful candle. And then some potpourri here just to make the house smell nice. The kitchen. We have a sitting area I think turned out really lovely. And over here. And then just kept this area simple because it's all going to change in a week and I didn't want to do too much, but I added um, this little pumpkin for the weekend. Maybe we'll have some friends over, some nice fall foliage, some cute pumpkin cups. And then over here, I continued our apple harvest, which I think is really pretty. I added some purple eucalyptus and some little baby mums and then got out one of my favorite books my apron my fall apron and then over the stove i just added a simple wreath over here we have just some nice simple picks these are those dark kind of dark purple ones that i had at the other house and then the same eucalyptus from my favorite cookbooks and then a sweet little hello fall sign. And then over here, just another sweet little area as well. For the little breakfast nook, I just added a couple sweet little things to read in the living room here and then also some table settings for the kids. We haven't really put together the dining room yet, so we have kind of been eating over here. It's been a little messy, but we'll get it together. It's not a big deal. But anyway, I found most of that at Target if you guys are looking for something similar. But here is how the outdoor area currently looks, and I thought I would take you guys along while we just make this look a little bit more festive for fall. to your heartache if you want to open your door mm. i'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding whatever that is choking your chest i can see it in your eyes that you're shaking cause you're holding it Oh, 
this seating arrangement, we've moved it around quite a bit. And as the weather's been going in and out of hot and cold, we, I think I found a place where we really like it. But for this video, I ended up just putting it here and I got this rug. Actually, almost every single thing from this part of the video is from Target because Target had like a major liquidation sale of rugs. I want to say like four months ago. And I bought this rug for, I want to say like $30. It was an amazing clearance. And then these blankets I've had for a while there. I had them on the boys' beds, but they're from um, Home Goods, and I just like how simple they are. Um, kind of give a nice traditional feel to this space, but also really warm it up for fall. Then I have these great pillows that I, I couldn't find the other two, but I have since found them, thank goodness, because um, I have a total of four of them. They've got this really gorgeous kind of rust color to them, and I got all of these at uh, home goods. And then in the center, I have a beautiful balsam hill urn with some gorgeous picks in it. And it just really brings the whole space into the fall feel. But tell me in the comments down below what you guys think and if you like the way this turned out. What you want, then baby, try to so now that this area is done, I just want to go and tidy up my bed. I usually try to make my bed first thing when I wake up, but honestly, you guys, I have been so off my schedule recently. My routines are not what they used to be. So I will definitely be doing a new refreshed routine you know, AM, PM, all day, all my stuff. Like I am just, I'm not even taking my own advice right now. So we are going to do it together. If you guys are looking for a fall reset, I will be hosting one here on my channel very soon. So definitely hit the subscribe button, notification bell so that we can get reset for the fall season together. Since I don't need to get up at four o'clock in the morning when it's not summertime or in the middle of school year, I think I can really rework my schedule in a way that's best for me and that also helps me to get everything I need done in a timely manner and also affords myself more time to decompress and to have more time to read and relax and use that gorgeous new bathtub. So definitely stick around to see how I reset for fall. Believe me when I say that you can tell me anything. I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking cause you're holding I absolutely love this chair. I found this at Home Goods and actually ended up going and buying a second one. So now I have two in that corner, which if you guys are on my Instagram, you've already seen how that turned out. But I just love being able to wake up, come and have coffee out here in this little reflection garden and really take some time for myself and start planning all the fun things for Halloween and Christmas, which will be coming up on my channel next. I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. If you are new, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell because I post all at random times. And if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me on another adventure in decorating. And I'll see you guys in the next video really soon. Okay, bye. Hold you in the dark, make it forget about what's wrong. Let it